Hey everyone, this is Dhruvin and I welcome you all to my Power Virtual Agents and Q&A Maker integration step by step series. You are watching second part of this series and in this session we will be talking about how we can build Q&A or FAQ chatbot with Power Virtual Agents. So now let's get started. In our earlier session, we have discussed about how we can prepare the knowledge base for our HR chatbot. If you didn't visit the earlier video, links are always down below in the description box. Now before we get started, let me show you that what we are going to building with this particular chatbot. So basically, we will be going to build this type of chatbot where let's say for an example, I am entering a message hi. So it will send me the greeting message over here. Now it is asking me a question that how can I help you? Now I am just typing a question here that how many leaves can I take? So basically this will call our knowledge base and based on the knowledge base output it will suggest us the best appropriate answer over here. Now this has given us the clear answer. Now. I am just pressing yes over here. I am just rating my chat. Now I need some more help. So I am typing yes. Now I am typing a question which is out of the context, which is not a part of knowledge base. So let's say I am asking here a question like contact number for my assistant HR. Now it is searching from the knowledge base and it didn't find anything. but as an improvement of our chatbot, I am asking here that do you want to add this question in our knowledge base? Now let's say if I am pressing yes from here, what happen here is it will send email notification with the track of the unanswered question from the chatbot. Now as an admin, I have received this type of question in my email to answer. Now here is the unanswered question. Now let's say if I want to add this to my existing knowledge base that we have prepared in the first part of the series then we just need to approve and then we just need to add the answer in the comment like let's say i am adding any random number here and now i am pressing confirm so what happened here is that particular answer will be dynamically added to the knowledge base so next time if user asks the same question that question is available for them to be answerable by the chatbot. So this is the overall chatbot that we are going to build throughout this entire session journey. But in this session, first of all, we will be talking about how we can create the new chatbot from scratch. In the next part, I am going to talk about system fallback topic in detail. And then we are going to create a flow that will answer the question from the knowledge base and in the last session we are going to track all the unanswered question and managing this approval process in order to update our knowledge base using the flow so make sure that you stay tuned throughout this entire session journey now let me explain you how we can create the chatbot from the scratch so first of all open your power virtual agents now from here on the top side you will be having this boat option available. From here, click on new boat. Now give the name of your boat. I am just giving the name of my chatbot as HRQNA FAQs Dhruvin. I am selecting the language of my chatbot as English. At this moment, this many of languages are supported. So let me select my language as English. From here, you just need to select the environment for your chatbot. So I am selecting default environment at this moment and let me just click on create. This will take some time in order to prepare the boat. And here we are. Our boat has been created successfully. Here I believe that you are aware about the topics. Two types of topics are available system topic and user topics. If you don't aware about that, I have prepared a separate beginner series for power virtual agents the link is provided in the description box so just go through 
that entire session series and then you will be getting a better idea about the terminology used in the power virtual agents now from the topic i am just customizing my greeting topic so basically i am just clicking go to the system topic and here i have greetings so basically i just wanted to change some greeting message so just click on go to authoring canvas now i just wanted to change this particular message so here i just customize my message that hi i am dhruvin your virtual assistant how may i help you so everything uh, other messages i want to keep that as it is and now i am just saving my topic now let me search for the greeting message hi and yes you can see that the latest message has been appear into this particular test window right so this is how we have modified our greeting message now here we are building the chatbot for question and answer or frequently asked question for the hr team user can ask any random question over here and our chatbot should respond based on the question that user asked so basically what we need to do is whatever the question that has been asked in the chat window it should be call our knowledge base in order to find the answer of the question and from knowledge base whatever the best suitable answer that we find we just need to show that into this particular chat window so how can we achieve that so let's say for an example at this moment i have seven type of different question available into my word document now let's say if we know the concept of power virtual agent everything is based on the user topic or system topic whenever we are creating a new topic what we need to do here is we need to provide a trigger phase so trigger phase is something that what your customer is asking about the topic so let's say i just wanted to ask like how many leaves can user take so basically we need to provide the trigger phase over there and we need to provide the answer now let's consider an example of large organization where around 100 faqs or question and answer we have prepared so will we create 100 topics in the power virtual agent does that a best approach so absolutely not we are not going to create each individual topic for each individual question in order to have the solution for that problem we are going to connect our power virtual agent with qna maker where we already stored all the question and answer in the knowledge base and our chatbot will interact to our qna maker's knowledge base now let's say here i am entering any random question then how my chatbot will identify that which topic should they call so basically for that we are going to use a concept of system fallback in power virtual agent now what do we mean by system fallback we will be talking more about that into my next session so see you in the second session of this series where i am going to explain about system fallback in detail if you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel i am uploading different video on power bi power apps power virtual agent power automate microsoft teams and sharepoint every day on my youtube channel you can follow me on linkedin and twitter and facebook also if you wish to listen different power platform related podcast just click on this link this will be redirecting you to this particular page where you can listen your different power platform related podcast on different podcast platform like google podcast apple podcast spotify and much more also if you wish to receive the daily notification about all my new videos on your whatsapp just click on this link it will be redirecting you to this form fill the form and you will be receiving daily notification about all my new videos on your whatsapp number this is dhruvin signing off See you in the next session. Have a great day. Goodbye.